Let me explain to you what the difference is between the Amazon Echo Pop and the Echo Dots, including the 4th gen and the 5th gen. The Amazon Echo Pops are coming with the new AZ2 Neural Edge processor. And that processor first was shown in the Echo Show 15 back in 2021. But they finally got it ready and have included it inside of the Echo Pops, as well as in the new Echo Shows. If you're trying to decide how to pick between the Echo Pop and the Echo Dot, let me make it really easy for you. If you like how the Pop looks, get the Pop. If you want the clock, get the, get the Dot. If you want bigger audio performance, get the Dot. If you want the uh, new updated AZ2 Neural Edge processor, get the Pop. Because this means when you process speech, and as we use speech more and more with our Echoes because of the proliferation of AI, this is going to be faster when those features come out. Not yet, but in the future. So first things first, when you unbox it, you'll notice that you have to pick the right color. We here have the Glacier White. It has a little bit of a grayish hue to it. And I really like how they made Lavender Bloom come out. It's more lavender than it is purple. First, this is what the unboxing experience is going to entail. And it has similar performance to your Echoes. So this has similar performance to your Echo Dot, except it's a lot lighter. We're talking about 30-35% lighter. And this is the Echo Pop in the flesh. You'll notice on your back it's using the same 15 watt adapter as your other Echoes. It also comes with command buttons up top, plus and minus, as well as the mute button. In the front, this is going to be the 1.9 inch front facing speaker. and it's going to weigh just about 196 pounds, so very light. You also get inside the box, you will get a charging block, which is something that I do like to see. So you get a charging block as well as a cable. Depending if you pre-programmed it from when you purchased it, it could come already programmed with your Amazon account in it. So setup should take no less than about three minutes. And this is going to be in the white colorway. The white has a matte finish. Also very light. You don't see a really big difference between the white and the lavender, except for in the color. But I really like how these look on a table. Our Echo is plugged. You'll notice that there is a light bar up top. It's very similar to some of our other Echoes. So this is our LED display 5th gen. And this is going to be a 4th generation Echo Dot. So the AZ2 processor is going to be more capable and it provides a 20% performance increase over the Echo Dot. But that's not where the changes stop. You'll notice that on the Amazon Echo Pops, these are going to come in with a semi-spherical design versus the spherical design of the Echo Dot. They also have four colorways. They have charcoal, glacier white, midnight teal, and lavender bloom. Another big difference is that on the Echo Dots, these are coming with motion detection and temp sensors. This is actually part of the security suite that Amazon is offering inside of some of their smart home devices. The Echo Pops, they don't come with that, but they will come with the ability to turn off the alarm just by touching it, something that was a new feature on the fifth generation, but did not exist on the fourth generation. We are playing some music on our Echo Pop. I'm gonna put my microphone close to it. See that? This keeps me going for
You can definitely hear that there is a difference in audio quality between the Echo Pop and the Echo Dot. On the Echo Dot 5th generation, I do think that it sounds a lot more full in terms of the audio. The soundstage is larger, the bass is going to feel more rich. Because the same song on the Echo Pop, it sounds still sounds pretty good. A lot of people might not notice the difference, but if you listen to it closely, you can definitely hear the difference between the two. And that's because the Echo Dot weighs 304 grams. It's also larger physically than the semi-spherical Echo Pop. The Echo Pop weighs only 196 grams and it's 3 by 9 by 3 by 3 by 3 by 6. So if you put that all together, what does that mean? If you're judging it by the music performance, the Echo Pop has weaker bass and has less dynamic range than the Fit Gen Echo Dot. The volume cannot or does not get as high because it's just smaller. The Echo Pop supports lossless high def sound, and that's not a feature that is super popular yet, but in the future, having less latency just means you're gonna have better audio quality. And one last thing, the Echo Pops are gonna be coming with the ability to be added on as kind of like a Wi-Fi extender for speeds up to 100 megabytes per second for your Aero systems. Now, is that gonna be something that is really worthwhile? For most people, probably not. I think if you're looking for a Wi-Fi extender, you want something that's gonna go faster than 100 megabytes. So all things being equal, the pop and the dot are so similar that it's hard to make a assumption on which one is better. It comes down to what you're looking for. I get why people might opt for the pop. I get why people might opt for the dot. I have a dot from four years ago, five years ago. I have a first gen, a second gen. The dots have been around my house and just basically adding functionality to my house constantly. But for most people, you're really using these to check the weather, to do some light shopping, build out a recipe list, you know, basic functions and conjunction with your devices like your Echo Shows and your Fire TVs. So if you're fully inside the ecosystem, I think that the Dot is gonna be better. But if you're really a light user of the Alexa, I think the Pop is gonna be better for you. Thanks for watching everybody. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Hit that like and subscribe button because that really supports our channel. And thanks guys, let's catch you next time. This is Dave with the French Flow signing off. Bye, bye, bye.